Have you already heard of hyperlipidemia? While it is uncommon for many of us to hear about it, the majority of people are undoubtedly aware of cholesterol. You refer to it as elevated, it's known by your doctor as dyslipidemia, or whatever term you give it, it's a prevalent condition. The word refers to several illnesses that cause your blood to have excess fats or lipids. Some of its causes are under your control, but not all of them. In the United States, an estimated 93 million people suffer from elevated cholesterol. Although it can be treated, hyperlipidemia is frequently a lifetime illness. You'll need to exercise frequently and keep an eye on what you consume. It may also be necessary for you to take a prescription drug. Because of our current lifestyle and the kinds of food we eat, hyperlipidemia is a prevalent condition. The following video will explain this. So, let's get started. There are various types of lipids in your body. The two primary forms of cholesterol that you've probably heard of are HDL and LDL cholesterol, sometimes referred to as good and bad cholesterol. The term HDL represents high-density lipoprotein. This kind travels through your bloodstream to your liver, where it is metabolized and employed, among other things, in the production of hormones and new cells. Unused cholesterol is removed by the liver. Insufficient HDL causes cholesterol to accumulate in the blood rather than be eliminated by the liver. Low-density lipoprotein, or bad cholesterol, is what LDL stands for. It makes your arteries clog up. Overindulgence may result in heart disease. Another kind of lipid is triglycerides. The most prevalent kind of fat in your body is this one. They generally originate from eating foods high in fat. Very low-density lipoprotein, or VLDL, is an additional kind. It is regarded as a bad cholesterol since high levels increase the risk of heart disease. In the United States, an estimated 93 million persons suffer from elevated cholesterol. Although it can be treated, hyperlipidemia is frequently a lifetime illness. You'll need to exercise frequently and keep an eye on what you consume. It may also be necessary for you to take a prescription drug. Reducing dangerous cholesterol levels is the aim. Your chance of heart disease, a heart attack, a stroke, and other issues can be decreased by doing this. Types of hyperlipidemia. Familial hypercholesterolemia is a kind of hyperlipidemia that is inherited. Due to a mutation in the gene responsible for removing cholesterol from the body, cholesterol accumulates on the walls of the arteries. Familial hypertriglyceridemia is an additional kind of hereditary hyperlipidemia. Triglyceride levels rise excessively because of it. Acquired hyperlipidemia might result from specific actions you take or don't take. In other cases, the illness may be brought on by medication or other health issues. For some, it comes from their parents. Hyperlipidemia diagnosis. Your doctor will schedule a test to measure your blood's levels of triglycerides and cholesterol to identify hyperlipidemia. Lipid panel, lipid test, Lipoprotein panel and lipid profile are some names for this test. Your lipid levels should be routinely checked by your physician. What your supplier will desire is a medical examination. Take a medical history. Measuring the amount of cholesterol in your blood in a lab. The medical history of your family. To determine your atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, ASCVD, risk score for the next 10 years. A lipid panel a blood test. Why does hyperlipidemia increase? Your diet. Your body produces a waxy substance called cholesterol as a kind of fat. It may also originate from your diet. Foods that contain trans fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol can increase blood cholesterol levels. 2. The quality of your lifestyle. Hyperlipidemia may also be caused by your lifestyle choices. You run a greater risk if smoking, Consume excessive amounts of alcohol being overweight. Insufficient physical activity. Feel pressured. 3. Medical conditions. Some health issues affect your cholesterol levels. They include diabetes, liver disease, problems with your pancreas, multiple myeloma polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, hypothyroidism, lupus, kidney disease, sleep apnea, HIV primary biliary cholangitis, and a problem with your gallbladder. 4. Types of medication. The following medications can also have an impact on your cholesterol levels. Steroids, beta blockers, diuretics, hormonal birth control, and antiretrovirals for HIV. 
hyperlipidemia can run in families. The disease can cause extremely high cholesterol in those who inherit it. Even in their youth, their risk of suffering a heart attack is significantly higher. Mixed hyperlipidemia. This is characterized by low HDL and elevated triglycerides and LDL. It's a hereditary disorder that falls under the umbrella of familial hyperlipidemia. It's the kind that young individuals who have experienced heart attacks are most likely to have. A genetic disorder called familial hypercholesterolemia exclusively results in elevated LDL levels. Familial hypertriglyceridemia is another genetic disorder that can impact your cholesterol levels. This is caused by an excess of VLDL being produced by your body. You will consequently have elevated triglyceride and VLDL levels. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us and lets us know what kind of content you want to see more of. Hyperlipidemia Symptoms Most people are initially unaware that they have the condition. The only way to determine if you have it is through a blood test. Although you cannot feel it, you might eventually discover its consequences. Triglycerides and other fats, including cholesterol, can accumulate within your arteries. As a result, blood passes through the blood vessels more slowly and with greater difficulty. Your blood pressure can rise. Hyperlipidemia complications. After we mention the problems that may be associated with hyperlipidemia, you should take care of it may lead to fatal complications if you neglect it. Heart disease. The most prevalent type of heart disease in the United States is coronary artery disease. It is more difficult for your heart to get the blood it needs to function properly when your arteries are clogged. A heart attack or heart failure may result from that. It could go unnoticed until you experience angina, chest discomfort, or other heart attack symptoms. Stroke. When you have a stroke, the clot travels through your body and blocks blood flow to part of your brain. Accumulation of fats. You may develop yellow, fatty deposits under your skin if you have hereditary hyperlipidemia. Here is where the accumulation of cholesterol is found. They are known as xanthelasmus if they are located next to your nose, around your eyelids. These deposits are known as xanthomus when they appear in other areas of your body. The elbows, knees, hands, feet, and butt are the most prevalent locations to get them. Can hyperlipidemia or high cholesterol be treated? Some people can simply alter their way of life to lower their cholesterol. That is insufficient for some people and they require medicine. Among the things you can accomplish are Working out, stop smoking, obtaining a minimum of seven hours of sleep per night, managing your stress levels effectively, consuming healthier food, reducing the amount of alcohol you consume, reaching a healthy weight by dropping a few pounds. But occasionally, altering your lifestyle alone won't cut it, and you'll need to take medication. Statins are a class of medication that lowers blood levels of bad cholesterol. If you have any of the following conditions, your doctor may prescribe a different medication. You cannot take a statin, you require additional medication in addition to a statin. Or you have familial hypercholesterolemia, a genetic condition that causes abnormally high levels of low-density lipoprotein, LDL, cholesterol. Inhibitors of cholesterol absorption. These are a more recent class of medication that prevents cholesterol from being absorbed by the intestine after consumption. They function in tandem with statins. The medication azetamib, Zetia, is one such. PCSK9 inhibitors. Another novel type of medication. LDL, or bad cholesterol, is decreased by them. These medications function by preventing the protein from binding to its receptors, enabling your liver to eliminate more cholesterol. While there is always a chance of some adverse effects with any medicine, the advantages of statins greatly exceed these risks. Inform your healthcare practitioner of any medication side effects so they can create a strategy to treat your problems. Atherosclerosis can build up inside blood arteries caused by hyperlipidemia or excessive cholesterol, increasing your risk of a heart attack or stroke. The good news is that you can take steps to lower your risk of stroke and heart attack. Increasing your physical activity and eating a better diet are only two strategies to lower your cholesterol. Complying with your physician's prescriptions has an impact as well. Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.